Hey guys, I hope my microphone is working. I'm gonna go over some more of these questions on page 263 that we're solving on separate paper. We're disregarding these notes here and I'm also extending this due date to Friday since my video didn't work and I know that y'all have been working hard in class. So real quick, um, a couple questions that I saw uh, struggling with were number 10. It says 5 fourths X plus seven equals 3 fourths X plus three, there will be fractions in a question like this on your quiz. The denominators are not gonna be the same, so I have to give you a suggestion on finding a common denominator. It'll also be a repeating decimal, so if you turn it into a decimal, it will be hard to calculate with. So I always advise you to get rid of the fraction by multiplying by a common denominator. So if this were 5 fourths X and 3 fourths X, the common denominator here is four. And then I'm gonna go over another question where the common or where the denominator isn't common and you have to find it. So I'm gonna multiply by four on both sides. And these will get multiplied by four and four, and these will get multiplied by four and four. So what this looks like is four times 5 fourths X plus four times seven everything is getting multiplied by four. Equals four times three fourths X plus four times three. So then I would do this four times five fourths. These fours cancel out. This becomes 20 over four, which is just five. So five X, four times seven is 28 equals four. These fours cancel out. I'm left with three X, five X over here plus four times three, which is 12. I would subtract three X from both sides because that's just my suggestion to start off with, split my sides. My uh, three X's over here cancel out. Five minus three X is two X plus 28 equals 12. Because I started on the right with my variable, my next step needs to be on the left with my constant. I'm done with my variables for now. They stay over here for now. And so I try and get rid of the coefficient, which is the very last step. So now I'm getting rid of the constant on the left-hand side. So I subtract by 28 on both sides. This problem is read as 12 minus 28, which is a negative 16, because I cannot take 28 away from 12 without going into the negatives, equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2 x equals negative 8. This is always the last step. Last step to get rid of coefficient, which involves division or multiplication of some form. C-O-E-F-F-I-C-I-E-N-T. Get rid of your coefficient, okay? Now I'm going to show you a similar question like that that's been on the star. All right, pardon my little hiccup here. So this is one that's similar that doesn't have a common denominator. Okay, but I have five and 10, and I know that 10 is a multiple of five, so my common denominator here would be five. I'm sorry, would be 10. Duh, hello, Miss Darling. So I would multiply everything by 10 to get rid of these fractions. So multiply this by 10 and multiply this by 10. This becomes 10 times 3 fifths X minus 10 times five equals 10 times 1 tenth x plus 10 times 7. So then I would simplify. This becomes 30 over 5. What that looks like is this is just basically a 1. 10 times 3 is 30 x over 5 minus 50 because that's 10 times 5. And this becomes 10 over 10, because 10 times 1 is 10 over 10x plus 70 here, okay? Now this can, uh, you still have fractions, but I got to reduce it. 30 over 5 is 6x minus 50 equals 10 over 10, which is just 1x plus 70. I'm going to scoot over here to the side. I've got 6x plus 50 equals x plus 70 now. I'm going to subtract my x from both sides. Separate minus x minus x. 6x minus 1x is a 5x plus 50 
equals 70 because these cancel out. I started on the right with my constant. My next step, I'm sorry, I started on the right with my variable. My next step needs to be on the left with my constant. Get rid of this 50 by subtracting from both sides. Minus 50, minus 50. These cancel out. Bring down the 5x equals 70 minus 50 is 20. Last step is to always divide or multiply. Divide by 5 on both sides because that's the coefficient of x. Cancel this out. x equals 4. Notice I do not put an x down here. I'm not dividing 5x by 5x. I'm just dividing by 5. So this looks like a 5 over 5 times x, which is just x. Just like this 10 over 10 times x turned into a 1x because this is one whole. Okay, I'm canceling out the whole fraction, but I'm leaving the variable. So over here, boom, x equals 4. That's a similar question. Another question that we can go over. 11. All right, cool. Let's do 11. This is like your homework. 5x minus 2 equals 4x minus 9. Let me go to my scrap paper. 5x minus 2 equals 4x minus 9. This is question 11 on page 263. Okay, separate your sides. Do you want to start with the variable or a constant? All right, get rid of the variable. I would highly suggest you start with the 4x so that you're already isolating your x and you, that's one less step you have to do at the end. So how do you get rid of 4x on both sides? Good. Minus 4x from both sides. These 4x's cancel out. 5x minus 4x, that's 5x's minus 4x's is just 1x left. Minus 2 equals negative 9, which is still on this side. Okay. Next step, I started on the right with a variable. Now I need to start on the left with a constant. What's the constant on the left? On the left, that's on the right. Good. What's the opposite of negative 2? Positive 2 on both sides. These 2's cancel out. x equals negative 9 plus 2. I've got 9 negatives and 2 positives. What do I get? 7 what? Mm -hmm. Good. 7 negatives. Awesome. All right. Let's find one that's similar. Oh, no. Let's do another one on your homework. Let's say 13, 8x plus 40 equals 2x plus 100. Who do you want to get rid of first, your variables or your constants? And on the left or on the right? All right, the variables. I would suggest the 2x. All right, what's the opposite of 2x? Negative 2x on both sides. These 2x's cancel out. What's 8x minus 2x? 6x plus 40 equals positive 100. I don't need a positive sign for a positive number if there's nothing in front of it. Okay, I started on the right with the variable. Now my next step needs to be on the left with the constant. What's the constant on the left? How do I get rid of it? Good. From both sides. Minus 40, minus 40. These 40s cancel out. 6x equals 100 minus 40. 60. Yes, you're correct. Then what's the last step? Good. Divide by 6 on both sides. x equals 10. Perfect. Okay, now let's do one that's like on the star. All right, so I'm going over a question that's similar to what you will see on your quiz. This is for studying purposes. It says Carnival M charges an entrance fee of $5 and 65 cents per ticket for the rides. Carnival P charges an entrance fee of $10 and 45 cents per ticket for the rides. How many tickets must be purchased in order for the total cost at Carnival M and Carnival P to be the same? All right, so Carnival... M and P. 
M is $5 entrance and 65 cents per ride. Carnival P is $10 entrance and 45 cents per ride. So as I'm showing my work, this is what I'm writing, and I want them to be the same. So Carnival M is over here, and Carnival P is over here. If this says per, that's always an X. So this is 0.45X, and this is 0.65X, because that's what the per is. Are you following me? Okay. And then I also have to pay to get in. So I'm paying for the rides and I'm paying to get in for Carnival P and I'm paying to get in for Carnival M. And I want them to be the same. So I use an equal sign to show equivalence. Now I want to know after how many rides will I pay the same in either Carnival. This is where I start solving. So this is how I write the equation, now I'm going to move on to solve it. So this is 0.65x plus 5 equals 0.45x plus 10. Let's get rid of the 45 cents x by subtracting from both sides. So minus 0.45x minus 0.45x. Draw your line, cancel them out. I started on the right with the variable. My next step needs to be on the left with the constant. So 65 cents minus 45 cents. How much money is that? Not 10, but 20 cents. Good. 0.20x, bring down everything else and the things that aren't canceled out. Now I need to get rid of my constant, which is the 5. So minus 5 on both sides. These fives on the left cancel out. Remember, if I cancel out one thing on the right, then my next cancel out needs to be on the left. I can't cancel out on the left twice. I can't cancel out on the right twice, okay? I wouldn't want to bring my 10 over here because then I'd be left with zero. So 10 minus five is what? Five. five. 20 cents X equals five. What's the last step always? Divide. Good. Divide by the coefficient. The coefficient is 20 cents. How many sets of 20 cents are in $5? This is where your calculator comes in. 5 divided by 0.20. Get calculators. How much? It shouldn't be a decimal. It should be bigger than that. I think, is it just 25? So 25, whoops, careful. 25 rides, they should be the same. Can I see your calculator real quick? I want to make sure I'm doing this. Oh, you did it right. 25. You did it right both times. You just mixed your decimal up. Okay? So, 25 rides. Hold on, sweetie. 